benchmarking. How do you do it? Is there a right way or a wrong way? Well, yes, there's a correct way, and the comments on her last video wasted no time letting us know. If you didn't tune in for the last video, we did a very quick section on benchmarking. We used two games as an example and gave a couple of stats on the FPS that we got in game. We also clarified beforehand that we're not a benchmarking channel. Our goal was to make content that's still enjoyable without watching an entire benchmarking video. For all the PCs that we build here, we have an extensive process to quality check our systems, but that process does not make for entertaining content, so we simplified it for the video. But like I said before, the comments wanted to call us out for going too basic. So today, we'll be testing both the 7900 GRE and the 4070 Super in five different games and display the results in real time. We're gonna roll the footage, show the benchmarks, and if you wanna stay tuned, I'm gonna yap about the disaster that is the PS5 Pro while these benchmarks play. Oh, the PlayStation 5 Pro. It looks really, really, really cool. Uh, it has an upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing. Oh, you guys are gonna hate that. And AI-driven upscaling. Let's talk about this PS5 Pro because it is getting absolutely freaking flamed on the internet. So this is exactly the same as a PS5, but with three lines. <laughs> Kind of carved into the side, <laughs> yeah. like the mark of the beast. Now you were telling me that, uh, so this doesn't come with a stand to sit it upright. Yeah. And it's about, what, 80 bucks? That's, I, I can't find a specific price. Everybody's saying it's like 80 30. bucks. And it came with the original PlayStation 5. Like mine at home comes with a stand. So it came with the OG PS5 and then the Pro, they're like, dude, if you want to stand this, you, you, need, wanna, you need to pay. If you want a disc drive. <laughs> if you want a disc drive. $700 yeah. for this thing. I feel like something is afoot. This isn't exactly fair. These guys at Tech Radar said, hey, let's try to make this $699.99, $700 PS5 Pro equivalent but with gaming PCs. And there's a lot to consider here if you're thinking about a PS5 Pro. Like, what games do you own? If you own a bunch of games on Steam, it's like, just get a PC, I man, just build a new PC. Also, Microsoft, you get the games there, it goes back and forth between the Xbox, and it's not exactly, the like, Game Pass isn't the easiest to use. We make content and like our standard for like what we wanna play a game at is pretty high. That's true. We like, deal with PCs all the time. Before I came here, I was running a 2060 and I was playing everything at 1080p. And I feel like a lot of people are doing that and they wouldn't even notice the difference between that and the PlayStation 5 because they probably only have a 1080p monitor or TV or something. What if they went to PC and got a dope setup? I mean, yeah. It's hard to go back, right? Yeah. Yeah, they don't even know what they're missing out. I see, I see where yeah. you're going. Also, dude, with the PC, it's backward compatible all your favorite games. The, the PlayStation show's gonna be like, mm. Actually, it's backwards compatible with PlayStation games too. Well, PlayStation person, your console sucks. I'm just kidding. This article started and it was talking about, okay, what are we trying to, you know, compare the PS5 graphics to in PC terms? And they came up with the RTX 4060 and the RX 7700 XT. So the integrated GPU of the PS5, roughly equivalent to those two cards, right? Now this is what always happens with PC builds. You'll set a budget. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I always start a build and I end up spending way, way, way more than I had budgeted because you'll find something and be like, well, is it really that much to jump? And you end up, it creeps pretty quick. His idea here was like, okay, instead of the 4060 or 7700 XT, um, let's try to match the performance. And so he went with a 4070, okay? So that's like gonna be good for some 4K gaming with DLSS upscaling. I know some of you guys don't care about that, but with that in mind, this build includes a 4070, which increases the price quite a bit. So let's break down specs. Ryzen 7 5800X, great AM4 platform, awesome freaking price point, 167 bucks. That's so hard to beat. It's a great gaming processor, awesome choice. MSI graphics card went to 4070. That's that's the bulk of the cost in this build, yeah. 520 bucks. And it still doesn't have the same amount of VRAM. It are 12 leaks, gigs. Yeah, the leak specs were like 16 gigs for the PS5, but. I guess you're paying for the DLSS. Don't say that to people. <laughs> How dare you? 520 bucks, that's hefty. Motherboard, X570, gigabyte board, 
260 bucks. Team Group RAM, some Vulcan Z. Oh boy, the classic Vulcan Z RAM, 16 gigs of RAM. That is like, you're definitely shooting for the budget there. You really should get 32 gigs on a build at this point. Yeah. But if you're just starting out, you wanna get something at a decent price, it makes sense. Doing an SSD. Little two terabyte boy. Be quiet case for 55 bucks, you can't beat that. EVGA 650 watt power supply, and then be quiet uh, air cooler, the Pure Rock Slim $25 cooler. Great cooler for an AM4 motherboard socket. We like that. It's good stuff. Um, so what did it come out to? $1,218. I think we overshot the old $700 price point there. But the cool thing is that be quiet case comes with a stand. It stands right up. You don't have to pay any extra for that. Uh, oh, it's uh, it's 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 twenty five for the stand. Oh, 25. Not eighty. Okay, cool. Correction there. We'll see how many people stayed this long. Yeah. <laughs> like actually. Actually. Eighty dollars for a year for PS Plus, and is that? That's the lowest option. Oh, and you have to get a second controller too, so that's seventy bucks. I see where he he's trying to add some stuff in here to be like, okay, let's let's get real try to get closer to that 1200. Yeah. Cause you do add accessories when you buy a console. That's what people don't realize either. Cause you're buying another controller, you're buying some yeah. some nice stuff and like a stand apparently, you know. Why are controllers so expensive? Cause they make a lot of nice ones. Cause too. you just got like an Xbox Elite. Yeah, I got the Elite. I want to brag or anything. <laughs> I don't want to brag. It's a really fun controller. I like it a lot. It's got all the little sticks and, yeah. and the paddles. and. You want something that's like kind of comfy. You know? Slide canceling everywhere. <laughs> Dude, I am for sure. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm that boomer. Black Ops 6 on me. Wow. 1219 bucks is where yeah. this settled. I mean, it's a solid build, but you're not hitting that $700 really. I'm sure someone's going to make a video where they do, but it's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. PS5 Pro. Don't, don't do that. You silly goose. Get a PC instead. Hope you're enjoying the benchmarks. How are we doing up there? Looking good? Is that what you're seeing? Awesome. All right, now that our benchmarks are done, the results speak for themselves. We used a Ryzen 7800X 3D, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and a 4070 Super for the NVIDIA build, and the exact same specs for the 7900 GRE build, except that we replaced the graphics card with the 7900 GRE, of course. Every game was tested at 1440p with ultra or very high settings in the case of Black Myth Wukong. And there was no ray tracing used or DLSS or FSR upscaling turned on. I think we're done picking sides on the graphics card wars. What do you think about that, Tanner? Yeah. Tanner's nodding yeah. his head off. So you could take that fight into the comments. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think. And next week, I'm actually really excited for this. Next week we have a video coming to the channel uh, where we are building and testing a Cybertruck PC. That's next week here on the channel. Like, subscribe, and all that good shit. We'll see you next time.